you ready? Ah! A few months ago, Riley asked me if he could try making the double-edged Thanos sword. Naturally, I said yes. And we're doing it right this time. We're going to be using real knife steel for the blades and trying to keep the weight reasonable enough that you can actually still swing it. Let's see how it goes. So for the sword design, we're going to take a reference image of a Thanos statue and just draw around it. For the size, we got to scale it down to my height because in reality, it's supposed to be 8 foot 4. I'm going to make it 6 foot 2. And it's ready to send to the plasma. So now that the design is done, we can cut it out on our Maverick CNC plasma cutter provided to us by Elite Metal Tools. Okay, so now that we have all of the parts cut out, we've got to weigh every part and make sure that both sides are actually the same weight so that when we put the blade together, it's perfectly balanced. As all things should be. <laughs> okay, 145 grams. 145 grams. 1.16 kilograms. So for the blade section, we're actually using 1084 high carbon steel. Now this is different than mild steel, and when we weld it, we need to preheat it first so that we don't thermally shock it and we get a nice even finish. All right, so we've got both blades done, and I think that it's time to actually break some stuff with them because they are feeling mighty solid. They're sharp. This one goes out to all those keyboard warriors. Oh, this guy is sharp. Who even eats fruit nowadays? Oh, that went right through. These swords are pretty tough. They need to look a lot prettier because the Thanos sword is an ornate sword. Time to do some fancy stuff. So now we need to cut some slots into our handle piece so that we can put the blades into the handle, weld it all up, and it's gonna be super strong. All right, piece is done. We got all our slots made, so Let's join the swords together. Jesus! That's heavy. Oh, time to put the second blade on. Oh my god. Oh my god, man. <laughs> How much does it weigh? 29 pounds way under budget. We can put more heavy things on it now. We need to do some detail work. So we're gonna do some sort of saltwater etching thing to put these patterns into the metal. What's going on here is we're putting salt water and electricity on the steel and it makes it go away. You have sodium chloride, which is the salt, and iron, and you put electricity on it, and just like with electricity, something magic happens and it makes the reaction occur super fast and the steel goes away. You're basically rapidly rusting the steel. It's kind of crazy. And you just need a DC power supply and apply 32.7 volts or something around there like we are, and it starts to burn the steel off. If you're ever gonna do this, be very safe. You have to either do it outside or in an extremely well ventilated area. It's bad for you. It's done. And now it's time to clean it off and see the final product. That is the metal that has been removed with salt water. This worked out just like it's supposed to. This is actually burned down into the metal so this blade can be polished and that pattern will stay there. It's here, we got it. Here's our package from Proto Labs. This should be the final pieces of the Thanos sword and then we'll be ready to actually put it together or break stuff. Oh my, oh my gosh, that is some impressive machining. If you want to take a look at that. Oh, that is so ridiculously pretty. All right, so I've got these painted in a really nice gold color. It's gonna contrast really well with the rest of the sword. It's finally done, and now it's time to present it to him. But this <laughs> does put a smile on my face. All right, so Riley did a fantastic job on the Thanos blade, which means you get to test it out. Awesome. Let's get smashing. Sweet. Oh God, it's so heavy. All right, we'll see how fast I can swing it. 
it's so hard to stop swinging. Another! More things! Should I try to do the spin move? Yeah. Spin move! Really just like the random battery panel. Bounced I up. disengaged the clip somehow. Alright. Oh, Holy shit. Alright, now it's my turn. Now that it's easy to wield. TVs have flyback transformers. This is a terrible idea. Hold your breath. Hold it. Run that back. All right, there. Three seconds. Zoom in right here on this spot. Full screen. It's time for the ultimate test. Ian, you ready? All right, so obviously it's gonna be a bit too dangerous to actually hold the shield when I hit it with a Thanos sword. So we've actually made it, Ian, what are you doing? The, 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 whole, the whole reason that we got the two by fours is so you don't have to hold the shield. Okay, ready? Smash cap shield. I just, I just love the double side blade coming back at you every time you swing. All right, we've reinforced the structure, so hopefully now when I hit the shield, the shield breaks instead of the structure. What the hell? It should shatter. Ah! All right, so this thing's freaking sweet. The issue is, it's really not wieldable. Um, we either need someone much bigger than me or maybe some kind of machine to truly test its capabilities. We are going to build something to spin this at a high speed, and then we're gonna chuck stuff at it. Think of it as a giant Thanos copter. Like this, but much faster. Oh, there we go. Ooh, oh God, oh God, <laughs> like that. So we just cut out this big piece, which is going to hold the handle of the blade. All right, so we just got the holes plasma cut for the motor mount, as well as the bearings that are gonna hold the large gears. Now we're gonna get it cleaned up and let's mount everything. I want to show you guys what I've been working on for the past year. I've been really passionate about building products for Hacksmith.store and especially our new line of Hacksmith tools. It's given me the chance to really spend the time to engineer some amazing quality products. And I'm super excited about our new Mini Saber Gen 2. It's a fully custom Mini Saber that I designed that has all the best features from our first one and some significant improvements. It has a larger butane tank with almost three times the volume of the original. It's got full metal construction. It's modeled after the original Guinness World Record plasma proto lightsaber that we made. And my favorite part, the flame color changers. The best part is all sales go towards our full size lightsaber development. These are available for pre-order on Hackson.store right now. This is by far the most stupid and dangerous and irresponsible thing we've ever done. Get the safety cameraman. You're too valuable. <laughs> Birthday party fun, courtesy of Sam. Oh. It sliced it twice. Three times. Three times. Three times.
shot her head on. <laughs> wow, like literally just, just the top of the neck. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe here, ring the bell to be notified when we launch a new video, and be sure to let us know what you think by leaving a comment below. And if you want to catch our latest content as soon as it's available, head on over to our main English YouTube channel and subscribe there as well. On that channel, you can listen to a bunch of different languages by clicking the gear icon below the video to change the audio track to your preferred language. We'll see you next time.